So Nick, uh, David, thanks a lot for taking the time out. Uh, Nick, I'm wondering uh, how liberating is it to be able to uh, take on a role in an independent film like this? I know you probably have uh, your pick of the litter when it comes to uh, films every year. So uh, how, how liberating does it feel as an actor to be able to just focus on the work and not have to worry about green screens or CGI or anything like that? Uh, well, uh, this was a very liberating experience, and I waited for an entire year to find this uh, script and, and to be able to work with David. And uh, for me, it was a, a character where I didn't have to act so much. It was I could be more truthful, not put things on, but take things off, be more sort of naked as a film presence and recruit any of my memories or experiences I went through for the last couple of years. And Joe was uh, the script that allowed me to do that. And then when I got to meet with David and understand his process, which is a very encouraging one and also one where you you kind of you, you work on the character together. You interview. He would interview me. He'd find little memories that I might have or bits of dialogue and put that into the into the role. So it was. I would say that it was a kind of a joyous experience making this movie. And David was Nick uh, somebody that was at the top of your list at, the, at all times, or did you? Yeah, he was the first person I talked to about it, and it was just um, it was interesting. He, he I sent uh, sent a script to his agent and with a letter, and I said, hey, you know seen all your movies, love to have you consider this project. And it was a, a very, you know, sometimes you get caught up in that, in that submission process and it can turn into a long development process. In this case, it was, you know, a matter of a few days and I get a call back and he says, hey, uh, give me a shout. I get the, uh, save the voicemail, just as for my own <laughs> nostalgia. Um, and he uh, says, hey, it's Nick, I read your script, call me back. So I call him back. He's like, yeah, I read the script in the book a couple of times. And it was like, not only did he like flip through the pages of the script and make a judgment call, which is typically what I can get from uh, a submission like that. But he, he read the script and then, the, and then was curious enough to open the novel and read that a couple of times. You know, it's like, so there's something really exciting about that. And then he came down to Austin and we just, we drove around in the countryside and kind of talked about the character and um, Larry Brown, who was the, the writer of the novel, we talked about his work and what it meant to us and what we could do with his character. And it was really just a perfect fit. Nick, talk a little bit about picking projects. I mean, if David had uh, called you up and, and asked you to do this and then say somebody uh, wanted to do a uh, finish up the National Treasure Trilogy, how do you choose between uh, that? How do you make that decision? I, I think it has to do with what is the best opportunity at any given moment, right. in, in, no matter the genre. Uh, you know, it could be a science fiction movie. It could be a comedy. But it just so happened that this... The project came to me when I was actively looking for a return to a more of a dramatic, independently spirit, uh, spirited film, and sort of where my, my roots were, what I, what I originated from. Uh, and I had seen David's work, and I and I knew the the level of talent, and and I, so I came out to meet with him, and then also, even when I got the part, I um, I came out a month early just so I could soak up Austin and get in, in step with his process. But yeah, it's really what is the best project at any given moment? And, and I waited a year to find this, which I call the 100 point project. Right. You started your career uh, when you were 19. Ty started it when he was uh, 15, so around the same age. Uh, I started at 15 too. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, were you that good at 15? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I, I I think uh, Ty is vastly superior. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a great actor in, in every sense of, of the word. I mean, it's full of life and charisma. And, um, but I, I try not to compare myself to other actors. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's just something I, I don't do. Well, uh, David, I, I'm always interested when uh, uh, directors uh, find these uh, non-actors, I guess you can call them, that's some uh, term people use. Um, but do you ever think about them after post-production uh, starts? I mean, we, we got the story about, you know, when uh, the kids from uh, Slumdog Millionaire, they were on this super huge high, and then all of a sudden they're back to their, you know, lives every day that they've been living, and they don't have that, the cameras around them anymore. Do you ever think about that, and do you... Yeah, I think about it a lot. I mean, it's got to be it, it, very challenging to um, to walk into the experience of filmmaking, which, for an actor, can have a lot of people giving you the attention and, and taking care of you and makeup and hair and all these things that go into the artistry of making films. It's very complicated, and there's a lot of technicians and a lot of support um, on a 
on a good project uh, like like Joe was. Um, we, ha we had a, a wonderful team of people, and so walking into a wonderful team of people in a very positive working environment, um, you know, I'm there to design that, and that's part of my process, and it's very important to me. And and then bringing um, uh, actors that aren't necessarily um, theatrically trained or haven't had the experience of uh, of on camera performances in, in the environment of those um, uh, those crews and the, the positivity around our our, our production, um, you know, it can be very different from their normal day life, er, everyday life. And so I, I think about it a lot um, because I know what it's like for me. Even that it, I go from production to production, but when when I wrap a production, I get you know I have to switch gears and get back into my normal life, and it can be it can be very difficult. And so for a lot of these guys, I think it was just such a novelty of an experience. Um, but I know, like the guy that plays the foreman, who plays Junior in the movie, mm -hmm. who he owns Sam's Barbecue up the up the road, and <laughs> oh, yeah? and I put him in the. I just finished another movie with him, um, and so it's kind of fun to be able to um, to be able to to pull some of these guys back onto the team, and and uh, for all of us, I think we look at it as a breath of fresh air in our, our often frustrating lives, um, and just it's just a matter of hoping that people can keep it in balance and not become too entitled or have too unrealistic expectations after the after the process. Great. Well thanks a lot guys. Appreciate Good it. Talking. Thank you. Thank you.